Hello and welcome to Node 7 Electronics. I'm Joby and today we're going to be doing Understanding Electronics Part 2 Semiconductors. Alright, the first component that we're going to be talking about is diodes. As you can see, they come in many different shapes and sizes. They're basically like a one way valve. Electricity can only fl flow through them in one direction. The other direction, they c electricity cannot flow. Therefore, they're good for protection, reverse polarity protection. So if you plug power into your circuit backwards, the, uh, the electricity won't be allowed to flow into the circuit because the diode is blocking it from flowing in the wrong direction. Diodes can also be used for rectification. So if you have an alternating current, you can use them to turn it into a pulsing DC current which can then be smoothed and used to power your project. Alright, for the most important semiconductor of all time, um, I've created a small demonstration as you can see here. Um, you might have guessed, semiconductor is the transistor. Now, basically everything relies on transistors. Every daily piece of electronics that you use relies on transistors because all of these microcontrollers or chips or any part like this is modeled after a whole bunch of transistors. Your computer has millions of transistors in it. So this demonstration also has the A microcontroller which is an integrated circuit in it and in this case it's on an Arduino uh, I just did this so that I could uh, quickly program it and this is what's providing the signal for the flashing LEDs alright I've zoomed into my breadboard here and if I connect a resistor right here and an LED You can see that the Arduino is providing this flashing signal, which the transistor amplifies and powers this flashing, this strip that I have here. If you've ever worked with a microcontroller, you'll know that the pins on it can't provide all that much current. So you can use a transistor to power more powerful things such as the, this large LED strip. So I was just talking about integrated circuits. And on, my, on the bottom of my breadboard, I've got a few here. They're not hooked up. That's just where I put them. Most integrated circuits don't look like the way these ones do. These are what you would call old school ones, because old computers and any old technology used ones like this. If I pull one out, you can see that it has pins that will go down through a circuit board and be soldered on the bottom. Most integrated circuits these days are what you would call surface mount integrated circuits and they're soldered onto the surface of the circuit board which is why their name kind of makes sense. They're also known as SMD because for surface mount device. Alright, so now I've gone over the three most common semiconductors that exist. If you'd like to know more about a specific semiconductor, I recommend that you Google the name. So you could either Google diodes, you could Google transistors, or you could Google integrated circuits. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video useful put a comment down below and uh, just telling you guys I'm not going to be able to post a video next Wednesday I'm not going to be in town but I will try to get two out the week after that thanks for watching